Hi, it's Chris from Hexamatic. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use our scraping recipes to scrape just about any type of um, data field on a website. So for this example, I'm going to use a e-com um, website. And we're going to imagine we are, say, a, um, a retailer. And we have a distributor or a supplier um, or a brand that we want to sell. And we're going to be uh, scraping their uh, product listings in order to capture their, their products in structured data format. So um, let's go into our uh, scraping recipe section. And I'm going to show you how we can do this. So let's have a look at, for example, this website. So this is uh, your typical e-com website. Uh, they have a uh, section where they have all their products. And what we're going to do is we are going to use uh, Hexamatic to scrape all these products from the catalog. And for each listing, we're going to go into it and we're going to capture the product details. So this is your typical two-step scraping. Um, so to show you how it works, let's go to this URL. We're going to copy this and we're going to head, off, head into uh, Hexamatic and we're going to start scraping. So we're going to choose this. We're going to use uh, the fast browser mode. So tutorial, um, yeah, listings there. Um, we have two different browsers. Uh, we have the fast browser, which is our stealth uh, browser. It's fast. It, um, it's designed to not be blocked, uh, but sometimes it doesn't load uh, images. We also have a um, full stack browser, which can sometimes uh, be blocked a little bit more often uh, and takes a little bit longer to load. So in this case, we're just going to use a fast browser and we're going to click preview. So within a few moments, um, Hexamatic is going to load the page. So here you can see it. we're not seeing the images, but they're here. Uh, if, for example, we load using the full stack browser, it's going to take a few seconds. And this time, the, um, the images should display. This is simply because some websites uh, use JavaScript and a few other libraries to load their images. Um, which um, are not necessarily loaded with our uh, fast browser. So here are the images for each product. So here what we're going to do, we're going to click on the uh, product name. I'm going to click Select All. Now here's the cool thing about Hexamatic. Um, we automatically um, find all the matching elements on the page for you. So you can select Single, that only chooses that specific element here or select all, chooses all the matching elements. So this is your uh, product uh, name. Uh, another really uh, useful feature is we have automatic uh, matching and detection of fields. So here in this case, we want the uh, product name. So we're going to choose text. So this uh, gives us a preview of what it looks like. Click OK. Uh, next, we want to get the URL of each listing. So we're going to click again on the text, select all, and this time we are interested in getting the URL, not the text. So we're going to choose a link URL, and here you see we get the URL of the link instead of the text of the link. Um, and that's it. Um, oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Some pages have pagination. So if we scroll down, let's see it. There is pagination. Yes, so we've got two pages of pagination. So to get uh, all the pages, we're going to click this, click Paginate Automatic. And this is going to get all the pages for this. Next, we click Save. And this is going to get us all the individual listings. Uh, the second part of scraping is getting the detail page. So here we're going to go into one of these products, copy the URL, put it here. Let's use the full stack browser. 
just going to name this So this is going to help us capture the product details pages um, for our, our retailer. So here what we want to do is we want to get the, um, so we already have the product uh, title, but here we can just grab it again. In this case, we're going to choose select single uh, because we are interested in a single page. Uh, so I'm going to call this title. And this is text. Uh, we want to get the price. So select single. And here we want a number. So we're going to choose a number. That gives us the price without the uh, symbol. Uh, next, uh, we want to get the description. And here we're going to choose text. And lastly, we want to get the product image, select single, and we are going to choose source URL. So if it's uh, an image and you want to get the URL of the image, choose source URL. And here's a preview. And that's it. Click Save. So we have two scraping recipes. One scraping recipe to find uh, each URL of uh, each product, and a second recipe to extract the details from each product. So to run these, we're going to create a workflow, and we're going to call this find um, extract uh, product uh, data. And what we're going to do is going to find our tutorials, um, our, our, our scraping recipes. So we're going to get uh, get all products and then get detail page. So the source of the second uh, scraping recipe is going to be the first scraping recipe. Um, product URL. There we go. Um, and then we're going to run it. Um, actually, before I do, um, here's another really useful uh, feature of Hexamatic is that within a workflow, you can combine both scraping recipes and automations. So in this case, we are interested in getting the product catalog from a website. But what if we also wanted to get, say, the meta tags for each page of each product? So here, what we could do is we can use our SEO meta tag um, uh, automation and simply choose, say, meta title, meta description. Uh, next, we could uh, take a screenshot, for example, or we could um, uh, get the word count for each product page um, so that we know, for example, uh, whether the uh, here. Uh, so this would enable us to know uh, whether we need to create more content for that product page. Um, so you have all these different automations. Uh, you could even, for example, translate if you wanted to uh, using either DeepL or Google Translate all automatically as part of your workflow. So let's run this. And I am going to open one I made earlier. So this would usually take um, a few minutes to say 30 minutes, 40 minutes, depending on how many URLs you're processing and how many automations you have and the speed of access to, to that website. Um, but the cool thing is Hexamatic works in the cloud. so. You don't need any software on your computer running, slowing it down. Um, everything is managed and you simply get a notification when everything is ready. So here I'm just going to open a, uh, a CSV uh, with the results. So you can save a CSV or um, save to a Google Sheets. Um, 
So here we go, let's have a look at what the dates that would look like. So here we have each product, uh, product name, the URL, uh, the price, the description, the product image, um, and if I had any other automations, uh, we could get, for example, the meta tags, or we could get the word count, uh, we could uh, translate, uh, we could um, generate a, a screenshot, um, and you can get all this data in minutes. So it took us about uh, a few minutes to create our two scraping recipes and then combine them into a workflow. Um, so this is why uh, Hexamatic can be really powerful because um, you can create these really quickly. Uh, you can scrape a wide range of different websites. Uh, we have um, built-in IP data center IP rotation, uh, which prevents our, um, our scraper from being blocked. Um, if you do encounter any website which is uh, blocking us, then you can use our optional um, residential proxy add-on um, to, uh, to try and get around that. So uh, this is how scraping recipes work. Um, and how you can create a two-step process. So one step, finding the listings. The second step, um, extracting the data. Hope that was useful. Do let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, and um, we look forward to sharing some more tutorials with you. Have a great day.